A pulled rickshaw is a mode of human-powered transport by which a runner draws a two-wheeled cart which seats one or two people. In recent times the use of human-powered rickshaws has been discouraged or outlawed in many countries due to concern for the welfare of rickshaw workers. Pulled rickshaws have been replaced mainly by cycle rickshaw and auto rickshaws. Overview Rickshaws are commonly believed to have been invented in Japan in the 1860s, at the beginning of a rapid period of technical advancement. In the 19th century, rickshaw pulling became an inexpensive, popular mode of transportation across Asia. Peasants who migrated to large Asian cities often worked first as a rickshaw runner. It was the deadliest occupation in the East, and the most degrading for human beings to pursue. The rickshaw's popularity in Japan declined by the 1930s with the advent of automated forms of transportation, like automobiles and trains. In China, the rickshaw's popularity began to decline in the 1920s. In Singapore, the rickshaw's popularity increased into the 20th century. There were approximately 50,000 rickshaws in 1920 and that number doubled by 1930. Description The initial rickshaws rode on iron-shod wooden wheels and the passenger sat on hard, flat seats. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, rubber or pneumatic rubber tires, spring cushions, and backrests improved the passenger's comfort. Other features, such as lights were also added. In the city of Shanghai, Public rickshaws were painted yellow to differentiate from the private vehicles of the wealthy citizens, which were described as always shiny, were carefully maintained, and sported a spotless white upholstered double seat, a clean plaid for one's lap, and a wide protective tarpaulin to protect the passenger against the rain. The rickshaws were a convenient means of travel, able to traverse winding, narrow city streets. During monsoon season, Passengers might be carried out of the carriage, above the flooded streets, to the door of their arrival. They offer door-to-door -door travel, unlike scheduled public bus and tram service. Country Overview Equals Africa Equals East Africa, in the 1920s, it was used in Bagamoyo, Tanga, Tanzania and other areas of East Africa for short distances. Madagascar Rickshaws, known as Pus Pus were introduced by British missionaries. The intention was to eliminate the slavery-associated palanquin. Its name Pus Pus, meaning Push Push, is reportedly gained from the need to have a second person to push the back of the rickshaw on Madagascar's hilly roads. They are a common form of transport in a number of Malagasy cities, especially Ansarab, but are not found in the towns or cities with very hilly roads. They are similar to Chinese rickshaws and are often brightly decorated. Nairobi Rickshaws operated in Nairobi in the beginning of the 20th century. Pullers went on strike there in 1908. South Africa Durban is famous for its iconic Zulu rickshaw pullers navigating throughout the city. These colorful characters are famous for their giant, vibrant hats and costumes. There were about 2,000 registered men who pulled rickshaws in Durban in 1904. Since displaced by motorized transport, there are approximately 25 rickshaws left who mostly cater to tourists today. Equals Asia equals China, in China, from the ancient times and until the 19th century, rich and important people, when traveling overland, were commonly transported in sedan chairs carried by bearers, rather than in wheeled vehicles. This was at least partly explained by road conditions. It is thought that it was from China that sedan chair designs were introduced into Western Europe in the 17th century. However, wheeled carts for one or two passengers, pushed by human servant, were attested as well. The proper rickshaw was first seen in China in 1886, and was used for public transportation in 1898. It was commonly called Dongayank for Japanese vehicle or East Foreign Vehicle. Rickshaw transportation was an important element in urban development in 20th century China, as a mode of transportation, source of employment and facilitation of migration for workers. According to author David Strand, 60,000 men took as many as a half million fares a day in a city of slightly more than one million. Sociologist Li Jinghan estimated that one out of six males in the city between the ages of 16 and 50 was a puller. 
rickshaw men and their dependents made up almost 20% of Beijing's population. Shanghai's rickshaw industry began in 1874 with 1,000 rickshaws imported from Japan. By 1914 there were 9,718 vehicles. The pullers were a large group of the city's working poor, 100,000 men pulled rickshaws by the early 1940s, up from 62,000 in the mid-1920s. Most manual rickshaws, a symbol of oppression of the working class, were eliminated in China after the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949. Hong Kong Rickshaws were first imported to Hong Kong from Japan in 1880. They were a popular form of transport for many years, peaking at more than 3,000 in the 1920s. However, their popularity waned after World War II. No new licenses for rickshaws have been issued since 1975, and only a few old men a Euro 4 as of 2009 a Euro still bear a license. It is reported that only one of them still offer rickshaw rides on the peak, mainly for tourists. India Around 1880, rickshaws appeared in India, first in Simla. At the turn of the century it was introduced in Kolkata, India and in 1914 was a conveyance for hire. Equals service availability equals, though most cities offer auto rickshaw service, hand-pulled rickshaws do exist in some areas, such as Kolkata, the last bastion of human-powered tunnel rickshaws. According to Trillin, most Kolkata rickshaws serve people just a notch above poor, who tend to travel short distances. However, in a recent article by Hiropiat and Greliner, the authors found that rickshaws also transport middle-class residents who use their services out of convenience and for short-distance trips to the local marketplace. Rickshaws are used to transport goods, shoppers, and schoolchildren. It is also used as a 24-hour ambulance service. Also according to Hiropiat and Greliner, rickshaw pullers have acted as peer educators for the Calcutta Samaritans providing critical information on HIV AIDS because of their access to marginalized groups within Kolkata's red light districts. Rickshaws are the most effective means of transportation through the flooded streets of the monsoon season. When Kolkata floods rickshaw business increases and prices rise. The pullers live a life of poverty and many sleep under rickshaws. Rudrangsu Mukherjee, an academic, stated many people's ambivalent feelings about riding a rickshaw. He does not like about being carried in a rickshaw but does not like the idea of taking away their livelihood. Motor vehicles are banned in the eco-sensitive zone area of Madhuran, India. A tourist hill station near Mumbai so man-pulled rickshaws are still one of the major forms of transport there. Equals legislation equals, in August 2005, the Communist government of West Bengal announced plans to completely ban pulled rickshaws, resulting in protests and strikes of the pullers. In 2006, the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Buddha Bhattacharya, announced that pulled rickshaws would be banned and that rickshaw pullers would be rehabilitated. Indonesia Japan, there are several theories about the invention of the rickshaw. Japan historian Seiden Sticker wrote of the theories. Though the origins of the rickshaw are not entirely clear, they seem to be Japanese, and of Tokyo specifically. The most widely accepted theory offers the name of three inventors, and gives 1869 as the date of invention. Starting in 1870, the Tokyo government issued a permission for Izumi Yosuke, Takayama Kosuke, and Suzuki Tokajiro to build and sell rickshaws. By 1872, they became the main mode of transportation in Japan, with about 40,000 rickshaws in service. The rickshaws' popularity in Japan declined by the 1930s with the advent of automated forms of transportation, like automobiles and trains. After the World War II, when gasoline and automobiles were scarce, they made a temporary comeback. The rickshaw tradition has stayed alive in Kyoto and Tokyo's geisha districts only for tourists as well as in other tourist places. The tradition completely disappeared once, but a few people revived Jin Rikisha for tourists in the 1970s 1980s and the rickshaws became popular as a tourism resource in the 2000s. The modern rickshaw men are a kind of tourist guide, who take their clients to some tourist spots and explain about them. Many of them are part-time working students and athletes who like running or exchanging cultures. 
Malaysia, rickshaws were a common mode of transport in urban areas of Malaysia in the 19th and early 20th centuries until gradually replaced by cycle rickshaws. Pakistan, pulled and cycle rickshaw have been banned in Pakistan since November 1949. Prior to the introduction of auto rickshaws in cities, horse-drawn carriages were a main source of public transportation. Singapore, Singapore had received its first rickshaws in 1880 and soon after they were prolific, making a noticeable change in the traffic on Singapore's streets. Bullock carts and gharis were used prior to the introduction of rickshaws. Many of the poorest individuals in Singapore in the late 19th century were poor, and skilled people of Chinese ancestry. Sometimes called coolies, the hard-working men found pulling rickshaws was a new means of employment. Rickshaw pullers experienced very poor living conditions, poverty and long hours of hard work. Income remained unchanged from 1876 to 1926, about 60 cents per day. Rickshaw's popularity increased into the 20th century. There were approximately 50,000 rickshaws in 1920 and that number doubled by 1930. In or after the 1920s a union was formed, called the Rickshaw Association, protect the welfare of rickshaw workers. Equals North America equals United States of America. From a history of the Los Angeles city market, pulled rickshaws were operated in Los Angeles by high school teenagers during that time period. Canada, foot-driven rickshaws have enjoyed several decades of popularity in Halifax, Nova Scotia. In addition to providing tours of the historic waterfront, Rickshaws are also occasionally used for transportation by local residents. The city is home to the oldest rickshaw company in Canada. Rickshaws are a popular mode of transportation in downtown Ottawa, Ontario, providing tours of historical Byward Market, in the summer. Ottawa's rickshaws stay true to the traditional foot-driven rickshaw model, but feature modern sound systems. Books, films, television, music and modern art. An early Rudyard Kipling story has the title The Phantom Rickshaw. In it a young Englishman has a romance aboard a ship bound for India. He ends the affair and becomes engaged to another woman, causing his original love to die of a broken heart. After that, on excursions around the city of Simla, he frequently sees the ghost of the deceased driving around in her yellow panelled rickshaw, though nobody else seems to notice the phenomenon. The 1936 novel Rickshaw Boy is a novel by the Chinese author Lao Xi about the life of a fictional Beijing rickshaw man. The English version Rickshaw Boy became a U.S. bestseller in 1945. It was an unauthorized translation that added a happy ending to the story. In 1982, the original version was made into a film of the same title. In the 1940s, Eddie Howard recorded a song called The Rickety Rickshaw Man. The 1958 Japanese movie Mumatsu no Iso by Hiroshi Inagaki tells the story of a Matsujiro, a rickshaw man who becomes a surrogate father to the child of a recently widowed woman. The 1953 Bollywood film Dubai Azamin, directed by Bimal Roy, describes the fate of an impoverished farmer who becomes a rickshaw puller in Kolkata. In the 1992 film City of Joy, Omparai plays a rickshaw puller, revealing the economic and emotional hardship that these underpaid workers face on a day-to-day -day basis. In the episode The Bookstore of the American sitcom Seinfeld, Kramer and Newman import rickshaws to New York City, for the purpose of running a business. They intend to employ members of the city's homeless population. However, one steals their rickshaw. The two recover the rickshaw, and Newman forces Kramer to transport him uphill, a voyage Kramer is unable to make. In Pearl S. Buck's 1931 novel The Good Earth, hero Wang Lung leaves his land to travel southward during a drought. He ends up in the city of Kansu, where he becomes a rickshaw puller in order to support his family. English graffiti artist and activist Banksy portrays a modernized representation of a rickshaw in a piece where an overweight rich couple with a mobile phone are being ferried by a young black boy and his rickshaw. That 70s show season 3 episode 24 backstage past Kelso and Jackie mention a rickshaw in which their friend Fez has to pull. See also Notes References Additional reading, Bandio Patai, Subba Calcutta Cycle Rickshaw Pullers, 
A Sociological Study. Minerva Associates Publications. ISBN 8185195277. Feng, Chi Ming. Reluctant Heroes, Rickshaw Pullers in Hong Kong and Canton, 1874-1954. Royal Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland. Hong Kong University Press. ISBN 9622097340. Indian Institute of Economics. A socio-economic survey of rickshaw drivers in Hyderabad city area. A.P. Mulhall, Priscilla. Solar Assisted Electric Auto Rickshaw Three Wheeler. Illinois Institute of Technology. Warren, James Francis. Rickshaw Cooley, A People's History of Singapore, 1880 N.U.S. Press. ISBN 9971692666 X. External links, Jin Kishar. New International Encyclopedia 1905